beauty of animation is that there is nothing that you can't do. Um, ideas that are abstract and very hard to communicate are perfectly suited for animation, and that's one thing that I love about it. I got into animation because I was a dancer and a choreographer, and I also made art. And I wanted to put all of these different things together. And I discovered animation when I went to the University of Hawaii and I took an image in motion class, made some animation, and I realized that was the way I could combine art with motion. When I went to grad school at NYU, I had two years of just of getting my master's and just focusing on animation. And at that point, I knew that this was what I was going to do. Which was up this mountain, and it was three mossy rocks. That's how she described them. I think that the stories that I, I really want to tell are coming from a real um, authentic place. Rosemary to Junkie was the story of my friend Katie's grandmother and a love affair. And then the status film, since our status changed, was about a very difficult breakup with somebody. For those films, I recorded her you know, over the course of two years. <laughs> and I uh, culled the material down into these two stories. The most expressive element for me is color. You know, colors have a real ability to draw out emotion. I work with it in a very uh, intuitive and emotional way. With HEPA, the colors just came out very vibrant. When I was living in New York City, I was doing a lot of Brazilian dance and Afro-Caribbean dance. And I met all of these really neat and inspiring dancers and musicians. HEPA captures what I loved about that dance and that, the community at the time that I was in it. The colors in Rolling Down Like Pele were very different from the colors in Hepa. Colors were soft, there were more pastels in that palette. I went to um, California on a fellowship. I was lucky enough to connect with a halal in LA, directed by Sissy Kaio. And I think because I was living in New York at the time that I made Rolling Down Like Pele, I was homesick. And it was a way to dive into, you know, a, a piece of Hawaiian culture and, and bring me back home, even though I wasn't living home when I made it. And then the colors that I chose to use in Tricked the um, project about human trafficking in Hawaii were completely different because I did that in black and white. The starkness of that color palette reflected the content of the material. For each project you have to say what is the point of this this piece, how do I want to um, give it the most expression? How can I make it the most powerful? Um, in the early 2000s, I was commissioned to do the opening trailers for the Sundance Film Festivals. We made three segments and they were all really different from each other. Goal of those were just to be, um, you know, exciting and interesting and, and vivid and um, to capture the audience's attention. And that was the whole point of those films. Whatever I turn when I did some openings for a PBS special, we had to create a style that reflected the tone of the project. We were commissioned to do uh, two spots for ITVS, and they were kid spots. The idea of those pieces was to illustrate the concept of aloha. 
fill your heart with aloha. Aloha, Israel. Remember when we were just like you? We were taken care of too. I moved back to Hawaii in 2008. I grew up here and then I, I moved back here after having lived in New York for 20 years. I was really lucky to be involved in a project called the Symphony of the Hawaiian Birds. I gathered people with different styles in the community, animators, and we made um, five different animated pieces designed to raise awareness to the, the plight of the native Hawaiian birds. There are only a few left and they're up in the highest peaks. There's an irony, a, a huge irony in the world of animation, which is that you're creating movement, but you're working in, in stasis. So you're creating movement by building a, a chain of frames, but each of those frames is a still artwork. So you're making a still artwork, but, but the irony is that you're, you have to keep in mind the ultimate goal, which is to have it move. Something that I love about animation is that I can elevate a moment and I think that that's something that is consistent throughout my work. I can take something very small and turn it into something really uplifting and, and, and beautiful and inspirational. You know how people go, oh, that's my cooler, look it's pretty. <laughs> and it, it's, it raises an ordinary object into something more meaningful.